Yes. Good dog. Robertson Found Racing Pigeons, this is James. As always, I hope this finds you all well. Today is Watson's birthday. He is one year. Good dog, Watson. Well, good dog, I think. Sometimes he's a good dog. Most of the time. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so I've got a bird I've got to move into the loft. It came in the mail. It's been uh, being quarantined. And I want to go ahead and give it booster vaccinations. Um, I vaccinated all my birds last week. I did it for um, salmonella or paratyphoid. And then I also did PMB. Those are the standard vaccinations. But one thing I wanted to talk about uh, a little bit is, is the vaccine itself. Um, they all have an expiration date on them, the bottles. Set this stuff down. Um, and I've heard people say that you have to use it all up when you open it. And that's totally not true, guys. I just keep this in the fridge. There's the expiration date, May 25th, 2022. So, and actually, when you talk to the suppliers, they say, well, it's actually usually good for another month beyond that. But you can keep that in the fridge and just as long as it's still within its expiration date, it's good. So don't feel like you gotta use it all up. Um, that's not the situation. So I just keep mine in the fridge. And in fact, I have my PMV loaded like this. And I just keep that in the fridge, bonk. So it's ready to go just like that. And then the salmonella one, I just have the bottle separate and then I'll dose that with a regular syringe. So yeah, pretty simple, easy method. Just keep it in the fridge and you're good to go. You don't have to quickly burn through it. Those come in a hundred doses and I don't have a hundred birds and I'm probably not gonna go through a hundred doses well, I might go through 100 doses actually before this expiration date in May. I probably will actually with the young birds that I get and the ones that I've already done for my breeders. I have 36 birds right now. So yeah, I may use it up. But for those who only have a few birds, you don't want to spend 140 bucks on a vaccine to only vaccinate a handful of birds. So what I do is I will call um, different suppliers, Foy's, Global Pigeon Supply, Seagulls, and ask, when does your vaccine for PMV expire? And they'll tell me, and then that helps inform whether or not I want to purchase from them or someone else. So just something to keep in mind. If you only have a handful of birds, I suggest getting with a local fancier and splitting it. That's a good way to go. That's what I did before I had um, enough birds to justify buying the vaccine. All right, I need to clean up in here. Let me clean up in here and then we'll continue. So this is one of the birds I'm gonna be auctioning for Abby. Nice bird. Op 278 and Marie Curie. Only one I've sold this year. We've got two full siblings in the Tucson Triple Challenge one off race. And they're just doing training right now, getting me started, but so far they're doing well. All right. Just fed them a little bit. Let's take a look at this little youngster in here. It's a mess in here. I've got to clean it up in this nest box. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? It's a beauty. I think it's going to be a cock. Maybe I'll set the phone up here and we'll take a better look at him. Or maybe I'll just set him up here. Come here for a sec. Oh, he feels good. He feels good. Marshmallow. 
Bad little buddy. You flew under the radar. You got the last 2021 band. 4163. Fantastic. Alright, little marshmallow. We'll put you back down. Actually, it's time to put you on the floor so you can learn to eat. Just set you down here, okay? I'm just gonna set you down there. You got that nice little stool to hide under. And a big mean cocks. So you should be good. There's his full brother right there. That's also going to the same loft, Captain's Loft. Okay, here's the bird that I had quarantined. It was shipped. Nice cock. It was flown in the Purple Heart race this year. It was uh, like fifth place in the 150 mile race. And then it was sixth place in the 200 mile race. And then it came back injured. It hit a wire. So yeah, didn't race anymore. But yeah, nice bird. I like this guy. We're gonna vaccinate him. And this is how I do it. I use my hoodie. The hoodie method is what I like to call this. Patented by Robertson Family Racing Pigeons. All right. You just stick them through. You got them through your hoodie. Then when his little head sticks out, got him there. Okay. Then, this guy's pretty flighty. Get him wet a little bit. Back here. No, this is salmonella. It's 0.25 dose. It's kind of slipping out here. There we go. Oh, I didn't do the other vaccine, did I? All right, you are a lucky bird. You get to go through the tunnel twice. Not very many birds get to do that. There you go. He's all wrapped up there. Gives me a free hand. I'm gonna get you wet again. I will go ahead and put a link to the a video I did last year. explains the process in detail it's easier when I'm sitting down honestly put my leg up like that kind of holds him in place As you can see skin there just holding his neck I'm just gonna go off to the side squeeze it withdraw and then release the handle we're done buddy so like i said i did all of them last week but since i just got this guy i wanted to go ahead and get him caught up on his boosters droppings look good so we're gonna go add him to the cocks i don't know yet but i think i'm gonna call this guy the greek because he was bred by john georgopoulos the greek what he does when we put him in. Welcome home, buddy. Goes up to the top. Welcome home, the Greek. Then he's 
already going to town. Flyboy underneath him. down below on the third perch. Man, usually when I throw a bird in, you know, they're kind of they're not sure what to do. I'm just cooing away. to establish himself. See this top perch? This is my perch. Still up there in that corner. Maybe I'll give him this nest box right up there in that corner. It's fun watching him. <laughs> Just new cock. They all have to establish and reestablish their perches and nest boxes. Cocks are all going crazy over that bird. Could it be a hen? I mean, if I'm being honest, it kind of looks like a hen. But it was cooing just like a cock. We'll have to wait and see. If it pairs up with one of these guys, we'll know. It's not always easy to tell, guys. So, uh -oh. you guys got to learn how to hide. There he goes. That's why I keep that stool there. It's a good place for youngsters to hide and avoid other cocks. Okay, that Greek just tried to fly down. Come on, guys. Let the bird eat. Look at all the excitement that bird has caused. Cocks are all going crazy. The handler for the purple heart said it was a cock. And it was cooing like a cock just a minute ago. And look at the way that bird is making all these cocks behave. Crazy. Sorry, boys. That one just got vaccinated. Probably not feeling too great right now. Give him or her a day. <laughs> Interesting. Cool. Well, we'll see what that one is. Male or female? That dark check cooing. That's the one that's, uh, going to be offered in the Abbey auction. So he will be ready to breed for 2022. He is ready to go.